Hi everybody, this is Nerd Color Limit, and we're gonna talk about Alexa for Japan or anime from a company named Gatebox. The company say it will change the world with character and technology. The company has a vision is to live with the characters, with an era where AI will behave like human and support people, and we believe that virtual partners can improve people's life. Also, the company named a character of, from the AI named Asuma Hikari, and she appeared in a device called Gatebox, just like the company. The interesting part about this technology, you can interact through your cell phone, sending food, uh, you know, hygiene, brush your teeth. That's really interesting how you interact with a virtual character and interact with you and also sit down <laughs> next to you to watch TV or a movie and taking care of you. That's kind of interesting and I don't know, weird, <laughs> perhaps, it's, it's, it's interesting. But the company has a vision. AI has the influence the people like through various internet services. The AI would gradually approach to the form of interaction with people naturally. But what kind of future lie ahead on dialogue by text and voice? We don't know, or maybe better. Now, the company has a future. They are gonna look like a human and actually actions. When humans interact face to face, they receive various informations from their gestures, facial expressions, voice quality, and so on. The AI does not just introduce or recommend product like uh, Amazon Alexa or chat with an organic characters, but they had a lovely voice and also they're cute. You can design and we're gonna talk about later. That's really interesting how these technologies advance, but they have some controversies we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Now the virtual partner, the company say, is an entity that lives together as a human partner. Each person has a different name and relationship, but they will be close to your life and walk together, like a husband and wife, or waifu, perhaps, <laughs> you know, and introduce the future life and image living with a virtual character. <laughs> waking you up that's cute uh they can I actually make coffee maybe actually they tried to do that believe it or not this machine will connect with everything else and we watch that later that's kind of interesting <laughs> even say goodbye to you to going to work Now, the company has something called Gatebox Grande. It's a large character device can summon and communicate with life-size characters and also has a unique video expression technology and sensor technology that make the character feel like being there and the character can greet and interact with each other when a person approach. And that one they can use for customer servers, well, you know, and a store and facilities and introduce products and services can provide to customers, to the stores and, you know, of future hospitality experience. It's kind of interesting, you know, you can have an idea what type of clothing I want. Yeah, well, interested. 
also the Call Something Tepai Advanced Technology Gallery. It's an exhibition facility that introduces social issues that need to be solved in order to create a better future to society. And the advances of technology that help solve them in an easy to understand matter for young people who will lead the next generation. The facility that has been visited by many people from all over the country in Japan only include the school excursions students and whole programming experience events nationwide and valuing connections with other areas outside the Tokyo metropolitan area. Yes, they bring people to see the experience and possibility of gatebox on the technology or AI. Yes, that's kind of interesting. It is too bad they don't go in United States, but yes, they actually was in United States, but they're no longer in United States. I will explain that a little bit later why it is. The reason is not. Also, they have something kind of gay box character. You can actually create your own character using a specific app or you know a device you can change it create it customize it and send it and not only that base people can purchase it and send it to your own device it's, it's kind of interesting you can upgrade that's really good technology but there's also a downside for that yeah they call creator that's really cool man Now, that's really interesting. <laughs> Gay box video. Now, here's the controversial part and which one the company closed down in United States and also rethink in Japan. There's a situation in Japan, everybody was hearing the news, they're declining, not only in Japan, in South Korea. And this company is not helping the male population to interact with the females and giving new children to the future generations. That's the reason Japan government saw the video of the commercial gay box, make the decision to tell the company, you know, helping. And that's the reason gay box closed down in the United States and closed down in Japan to rethink. This is a serious situation. And in this commercial is the really controversial thing. Instead of helping, in a good way, they actually damage the male population. <laughs> yeah, because they send, you know, interested texts, just like a wife, making prefer to be interact with a non-living creature than a human being. But that's really the reason. But this is Nerdcon Limit, and we see you soon for more news and technology and anime. おやすみなさい。